Hey. Do you remember when Sir Emmerich got stabbed at this very spot? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember either. Oh god. No, I don't want another friend. I don't want another friend to die. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Churgians tells me that he will make a full recovery. But had Lord Enmont and Mort Lord Artorio had not been on hand when the assassination struck, he would not have been so fortunate. Oh, thank God. Have you been able to determine the precise locations where the fires were set? Mayhap there is a pattern. If there is, we have yet to discern it. Fires have been reported throughout the city, in both pillars and foundation. Indeed, given the size of the area affected, I think it's best to divide our forces. Master Alphano and Mr. Mistress Lestola, I would, out, I would have you take charge of the investigation and foundation. Meaning Nemu and me get to the pillars. Oh, they'll like... Oh, they'll like me up there. Only question is, will the Grizzle roll old world strike and oppose <laughs> what? <laughs> In case you were wondering why the Hoplon is awash with refugees, the lower levels of the vault had been open to those unfortunate souls who have lost their homes. Oh, wow! Come, my brothers and sisters. There is food and shelter enough for all in the Basilla. That's Alyssa? Eh? Halone's blessings be upon you, father. I confessed. We were not sure if we would come. There are so many unbelievable tales these days. About the Archbishop and Sir Emmerich and the Dravanians. Trust in your heart, brother. And pay no heed to the lies of the lesser men. They only seek you to lead you astray. Do you require succor as well, miss? No, I'm looking for somebody. Somebody. So the Temple Knights have begun their investigation at last. Good. This madness has gone far too long. What I would do to rec- what I could do to something in your aid of your research, but I have a duty to these poor souls. Farewell, and may the fury guide your steps. <laughs> oh my god. The old English, I can't. There you are! You little piece of shit! What do you have to say for yourself? Huh? Huh? Say something! Oh wait, it's not him. The guy who stabbed Emmerich was a Hurian. I do not mean to diminish our accomplishments, but until we identify the ones who ordered the fire set, our work is far from finished. Between the various conservative and religious factions in Ishgard, I dare say there's no shortage of parties who would like to see the status quo preserved. Do any likely suspects spring to mind? <gasps> Emmerich! Far too many to count. Oh my god. Why would you be standing? Lord Commander, your wounds. Yeah, exactly. Listen to her. A healing well. Thank you. Time is of the essence. Lest we forget, these men would sooner put their own city to the torch than see it change. When our enemies learn that we have apprehended their arsonist, there is no telling how they will react. What? Lord Commander! An armed mob has seized control of the vault. What? And now we know. Tell us what happened, sir. Spare no detail. We were directing refugees into the Basilica, as you ordered. When all of a sudden, men brandishing weapons were all around us. It happened so fast, my lord. We had no time oh, to Look respond. at that guy. Look at that frickin' father. They've taken the refugees hostage and barricaded themselves inside the vault. No! And they sent you to deliver their demands. They... The true brothers of the faith demand that a conclave to select the next archbishop be held forthwith. I... Furthermore, they, they declare that you, Lord Commander, are guilty of patricide and high treason and that you must surrender yourself at once to receive of the Fury's judgment. I knew he was sus. Bro, what the hell? <laughs> Why? Ridiculous. I mean, do they honestly think that executing Sir Emmerich would change anything? That the truth will somehow die with him. Yeah. These fundamentalists rage against the passing of the old ways. Unable to accept there can be no going back.
Given the fanciful nature of their demands, a peaceful resolution does not seem likely. If the hostages are to be rescued, it will be by force, I fear. No. Agreed. Lucia, take a contingent of knights and establish a perimeter outside the entrance. There we go, there we go! Once, Lord Commander. Ay, ay, ay! <laughs> Hilda, I need your people out in force throughout the room. When word spreads of the situation, the friends and family of the hostages may try to take matters into their own hands. I will not give these militants more targets. Yes. I shall lead the assault on the vault. Master Alphano, can I count on the support of the science? Yes. Please. Of course. Yes, thank Grid. Time for some action. <laughs> I shall join you as well, Lord Commander. Artorio! Oh. Your assistance is most welcome, Lord Atwarel. To arms, then, friends. Time is against us. Yes. Hey, there you guys are. Listen well. You will enter the Basilica silently via this gate. According to our latest reports, there are at least six hostages being held within. The numbers and readiness of the true brothers of the faith are unknown. I am told one acclaimed to have served under Thornton the Seventh. Might the name be true to the rest? Oh my god. Of course they would. Lord Artoirel, you are a brave man and true. And none would dare question your honor if you choose not to risk your life in this endeavor. Are you certain you wish to join us? Yeah. Is he? I'm only worried that he did this because that's what Harshafant would do. I don't want him to die. <laughs> I don't want any of these good characters to die. I am no stranger to the battlefield, Sir Emmerich. My arm will not falter. My shield will not break. Alone as my witness, we will bring these fanatics to justice. Well said, my lord. Friends, follow me. <gasps> oh, dude, this looks so cool. Lay down your arms or die by the sword. Are you injured? Bless you. You must hurry. The others were taken elsewhere by Sir Simonad. Oh my god. Sir Simonad. So indeed is the work of the Archbishop's former servants. Yeah. Fuck. On your guard. They saw. Oh no! They sounded the alarm. Sir Simeonard, lay down your arms and release the hostages, and you will be shown mercy. I give you my word. Ha! The words of a heretic and kinslayer. I would sooner trust a dra dragon. Activate the knights. We shall show these hostages the same mercy he showed the archbishop. Oh no! Aw, oh, goddammit. Those things. No. No, no, no. Oh no. Unlike you, Sir Emmerich, I am a man of honor. By my hand, you shall recede the by the Fury's judgment. Oh my god. So it is to be a trial then. Lord Artoirel, Nemu, leave us and save the hostages. I will deal with Sir Seminard. Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. 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 Where do I go? Oh my god. Oh my god. There's more over there. Oh 
die. Freaking church and all those men. Die. Okay. We're going back to Emmerich. Please don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Please, 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 please. Die. Oh my god! It's a kid! Why? Fury be praised. He... He took Melly. Oh no! Yes. We're gonna save your friend. Oh my god. Where is he? Where is he? I'm so worried. Oh, don't. Oh, no. It's this place. No. Come no closer. Oh, my God. You have nowhere to run. Release the girl and surrender. Surrender to whom? The blasphemer who throws wide the gates to our enemy? Who breaks bread with him and calls him brother? Ungodly swine! I would sooner die than surrender to you! Okay, then die, but let the girl go! Is it godly to spill the blood of an innocent child? To burn the homes of your brothers? Tell me, priest, is that godly? Yeah. Do not speak to me of godliness, heathen! Your father's blood is on your hands! As is hers! No! Oh no! Don't let her go! What the f No! No, Mally! No! Oh my god! Oh please, 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 you still please! She would come. Oh my god. The Dofnir. Yes. 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 The Dofnir. Yes. <laughs> It's okay, Mally. You're saved. You're okay. Well met, Knight. May have I chosen an inopportune moment? <laughs> no, you came at the right time. Not at all. Pray forgive us this most unworthy reception. Yeah. We are honored to have you with us, and right glad of your aid. Fortune delivered the child unto me. I had but to receive her. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Thou art welcome, child. Where is that fucking church guy? Where's the fucking father? to so unexpected a savior. But full glad am I to be so. Friend of Izel, warrior of warriors, I had hoped to meet with thee. I bear a message from my sire. Okay, okay, from Preisvelger? From Freisfelder. Okay. 
What did it was what is it that he wants? Upon returning to our lands, Nidhogg's shade did sing unto his brood, and they for skies unknown did then take wing. This thou must know, for your fates are inextricably bound. Hmm. What of Estinian? Is he truly lost to us? I don't think so. Such matters are beyond my ken. I but bear my father's words. Take from them what thou wilt. Fare you well, mortals. Thank the twelve. And thank God you did not lose another son, Edmont. So it is as they say then. A great white dragon swooped down from the heavens to rescue an innocent child. Yep. A most unexpected turn of events, but not an unwelcome one. The people will not soon forget this day. They better not. Yet how will they choose to remember it, Sir Emmerich? And will these events serve to bring man and dragon closer together, or drive a deeper wedge between brothers? Hmm. That's a good point. After a thousand years, the world these men once knew is changing, and with ungentle swiftness to boot. Though their actions are misguided, their sentiments are only to be expected. You may be sure that others will rally to their cause. Yeah, he has a point. I share your desire for a lasting peace with the Javanians, I do. But I would not see it built on the bones of our countrymen, nor on our own. Mm -hmm. I see much of Horshifon, <laughs> and I could not bear to mourn the passing of another son. Oh my god. Lord Edmund. Did you see Horshifon in you? He doesn't seem to be happy about it. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Hey, Arturel. What do you need? Ah, oh, good. We were afraid you might have left. <laughs> Is there something you need of us? What? A shield, my lord? Huh? Fit for a true knight. An expression of our gratitude to you and yours. Long overdue. What? Are you sure you want to give this to me? I'm not good at tanking, just so you know. But thanks. But there is something else I would discuss ere you part. Something which cannot leave this room. What? My father will soon step down as head of our house. Why? Sir Emmerich was not the only one to fall under suspicion following the death of the Archbishop. There are some who believe my father complicit in a coup d'etat. Oh no. Thus he intends to renounce his title to absolve our house of suspicion and secure the support of our peers. Oh god. That would happen, Surely wouldn't it? There must be another way to convince houses Durandir and Zamile. So I said to him, alas, he will not budge. Mm hmm. You want to do something about it? Ever since I was a child, I uh. knew that I would one day succeed my father. Uh. The thought of it filled me with pride. 
Yet once I learned the day was at hand, my heart was filled with mm. naught but dread. Yeah. Our legacy is built upon the lies of our forefathers. In accepting this title, am I not perpetuating this injustice? Mm hmm. Why should I become the next count? A knight lives to serve. As Horshafon did. Like him. Yeah. I, I suspect that is what Horshafon would have said. Yeah. To aid those in need. Yep. When you look on that shield, I trust you will remember his words. And should I once more find my resolve wavering, I ask that you show me the way. You are a sister to Horshafon. Will you be a sister to me as well? Yes! Come, Emmanuelaine. There's much to be done. For Father, and for Sir Emmerick, and for Ishgard. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I to think we share the same blood. Pray excuse us. <laughs> Oh my god. That was so good. Those were the days of promises and vows. Of tentative first steps into an uncertain future. A future shaped by the choices we made. In ways we could never have foreseen. Born of good and evil. Of light and darkness. And shepherded by our hand. Be it for weal, or be it for woe. From the memoirs of Mount... Uh, uh, what? Memoirs? What? Where can I read that? <laughs> oh, shit. It's Orion Jair. This is like, what? It is truth long forgotten, a tale of the beginning and of the path we have been set upon. And Ladybus, why are you with him? Our fates were ordained long ago, Archon. The Garleans are no exception, nor the Triad. You know what must be done. What are you doing, Urianger? Is that Alize? Those shoes look familiar. What is this? Is that Ida? I see the sign on her mark, and it's Papalimo! Well? Oh my god, they are alive! Thank- thank god! Everyone has their orders. The masks will attack as soon as all the units are in position. The Imperials won't know what hit him. Fear it will be bloody. I Ralgar, it had better be. We cannot stay here forever, Ida. We have other responsibilities. I know full well what all my responsibilities are, and I mean to fulfill them. Every one! Interesting. Where are they? Hmm. Interesting. It's time for me to be a paladin now. I'm just kidding. When I become a paladin, I'll just use Halshafon's shield forever. Forever and ever. <laughs>